hey how are you doing have you ever tried to start a web project and it's like where do i even start from you know you look at design a figma but you struggle to put in this live and webflow yeah i'm going to help you with that today and this is the first day of the 100 days of workflow and design series i'm doing and the goal of this challenge or series is to improve my skills and also share value to you guys too so if you have any questions and anything feedback and likes drop it for me below i really appreciate it with that said we're going to talk about starting a workflow project and this is going to be a very quick run down through of how this works number one you need to have your style guide set already so if you as someone that uses figma you already know these things what we we'll call style guide and you have a h1 h2 h3 h4 if figma set these things already set the fonts you're going to use so you can see i'm using um lato semi bold 53 line heights um 53 size 120 percent line height and the likes you're going to keep all these things in mind because when you're building workflow it's very important so number two come to clientfinsuite.com slash client first just like CSS has Bootstrap, Tailwind, and other frameworks, Webflow has FinSuite, Client First. Client First by FinSuite. And there are other frameworks I don't know yet, but this is one I use all the time. And I want to show you how it seems to work faster. So the first, you, the first thing you do is to come over here to get clonable. And that takes you to this page where you see this Client First clonable. And you can get clone Webflow, cloning Webflow. This will take you to Webflow and you can create sites. I'll just show you how I've done that already. Yeah. If you take you to this, when you create a site, it takes you to this. From here, you can now determine what am I going to do. First things first, if you want to create pages, you add page, create a new page, like you want to about page, things like that. But we're not going to do that. First, we're going to edit this draft page, the style guide. Because FinSuite has already created a style guide for us. It's left to us to edit it. When you come over here, you see page wrapper, you see main wrapper, you see container small, container medium, container large, and multiple headings. You see um, HTML tags, you see another um, text sizes, text styles, um, text widths, text alignments, buttons, colors, background colors, max width. Um, you can get rich text, margins, um, spacing, icons, yeah. And like it keeps going. It's very, it's very diverse and big. Um, I doubt I've gone through most everything, but I've been using it for a while now since last year, December. So I, I think I can at least give you some insights on how to use this and maximize it well and better. So first things first, like I remember, if you remember from the Figma file I showed you, this is H1. This H1 is what? 53. So if my H1 is 53, which I doubt is the right one, I guess. I don't know. But if you change 53 and you want to change it over here, you come over here to this H1. You press all H1 headings and you come over here to your typography. It's 4 m here. You can change it to 53 pixels. It gets smaller. What is 4 m? What is rem? Rem is basically, one rem is basically the basic base font width. And on most websites, it's 16 pixels. So if you want to change it to rem, do 53 divided by 16 rem. And that turns to, um, let's see, what does that turn to? Three points, something, something, something. But I'm not going to change that. I'm going to change it back to four rem because I think four rem is better size. Yep, and that's it. And this, this same thing you do for every single thing on tablets. It reduces. Okay, it doesn't reduce on tablets. On mobile landscape, it reduces a bit. So if you check it here now, it is two point five from four rem two point five. On mobile, it doesn't reduce. It's same two point five. So these are things you keep in mind. If yours reduces in size for every for each break point, you reduce it. You reduce it till you get to where you want to be. And you do that for every single text, every single size, and every button, and all the, all the likes. It's important because by the time you start building, it's make it work way faster. Now, what else can I point out to you? How do you start? How do you organize your project? If you read the docs here, I didn't plan this section well, but the one what I want to show you is how to yeah the core strategy, the core strategy. So the first thing is this body, page wrapper, main wrapper, section home header padding global container large and the likes so now this page wrapper contains the whole page the main wrapper contains the whole page in this page wrapper now you can have your navbar in your main wrapper you have the many sections of the website so for example now so this is my portfolio site i built recently using clients first and this is it this is the navbar this is the other sections of the website and keeping this in mind 
my nav bar is in my page wrapper then other sections are in my nav main wrapper so that's it i'm going to show you this in detail right now on webflow so this is my current first situation of my website my portfolio website anyways this is it if you come over here you see this body page wrapper the nav bar the main wrapper in the main wrapper you have other sections hero about projects testimonial price faq cta footer that's basically it that's what clients for the to explain to you and if you keep this in mind um i come back here to cost energy this is the same thing as here you have your page main wrapper then section then your section you have the padding global and the padding section stuff and you have your container and then you have your home mirror wrap or something so not to worry this can be confusing for you right now but in the nearest future as we go in depth into all of these things i'll explain it in more detail so do the challenge i'll be rebuilding some workflow sites i find online i've already seen some already I'll, at the maximum i'm going to do maybe like four or five or something i'm not sure yet but i have some ideas already i'm going to do and i'll be taking you on this journey with me so that way we can learn how to use workflow together and yeah that's what i think you know so with all that said there's something there are more things coming but i hope this was like a financial guide if you want to go further into it read all these things watch videos on youtube from the film Suite community the youtube channel is very very helpful i watch them a lot and um yeah tomorrow we start a project so stay tuned for that and get yourself ready see ya